Did you know, Tristan, that there's three types of accounts on Instagram? Hey, Tristan. It's personal, business, it's creator. Which one do they want? I would say that for the typical person listening in, you'd probably want a creator one. That's the correct answer. Ding, 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 ding. I didn't fail. Holy crap. <laughs> Listen, uh, let me explain I was sweating. I was sweating bullets. <laughs> you should you should know this answer. Personal has zero functionality. There's zero purpose. It's not like Facebook business. There's really only one, one reason why you should have a business Instagram, and that is if you are having a scheduler because you would you're scheduling your content. You can only do it through a business. The downside to a business is it lacks music, it lacks some functionality. And you can only connect it to your business Facebook account, which is already a graveyard, so it does you no good. The creator account, per Adam Masseri, the guy who runs Instagram, that has all the tools. Like, Remember, Tristan, we talked about A-B testing coming soon? You're mm -hmm. only going to get that if you have a creator account. You're going to have the, the most analytics. You're going to have – you probably get the most reach just by having the right account. So if, if you give me a second, I'll quickly explain this to our listeners – so if, if you go to your profile, so you go to your profile on Instagram, you click on, you, you, you clicked on the little circle in the bottom right corner. Then you go to the top right in your profile with a little sandwich buttons, the three little lines, you click on settings and privacy. Now this is going to look different from everybody's account. So you're going to have to find this, but what you're going to, what you're looking for is your, your type of account you're looking for. So for me, it's under creator tools and controls. Again, yours might say, if you have a business account, it might say business tools and controls looking for that. And then when you click on that, you're going to scroll to the bottom. You're looking for the tab that says switch account type or switch to creator. If you already have a creator, it's going to say it at the top. And when you click on switch account type, it's going to say switch to personal switch to business. That means you have the right account. So you're looking for switch to creator. When you find it, it's going to ask you like five questions. Do it right now. All right, dude, that's really good. I love this a lot. That's very actionable. I definitely want everybody to do that. Um, and like I, and like Jeff said, if you're comfortable with your business one because you use it for business and you need it to run ads, right? Don't do it. But for your personal one, definitely go the creator route. That's what Jeff and I have. Yeah. And you know what the truth is? Honestly, Tristan, I tell everyone have one Instagram account. The one exception would be if you are an ad runner, um, meaning you run ads through Facebook, then you might want to have two separate accounts because that business account is probably as obviously going to be very business centric. And that's okay. That's the one exception to where it's okay, in my opinion, to have a, a, a business centered account. So then you have the separate account, but I would still have a second then. And this only in this case, have a creator account that talks to your personal Facebook, because that's where the organic magic and conversations will happen. I agree, man. I agree. Good explanation. Thank you. Number Thanks, two. Guys.